Now for bingo. It's time to witness the wetness. This is Innuendo Bingo. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so I'm looking forward to this. I think it's going to be a good one today. Up for it, Chris? Yeah, I'm, I'm really up for it. I'm literally up for it. I feel a lot higher than you two. Yeah, you've got, I mean, you're yeah. Down on you've the got an advantage. There. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well. Looking down below on Chris and Stephen from Gogglebox. Yeah. I feel like the camera that must be <laughs> in your room, in yeah. your front room on Gogglebox. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever, like, do you eventually just not even realise that the camera's there? Yeah, because it's so small, it doesn't move, doesn't make any noise. So, you, yeah, you kind of... Right. Well, we, up. We've done eight series now, so... Eight? Eight series, yeah. Oh, so we're used doing. to it now. Wow. <laughs> OK, let's put a lot of water in, please. Oh. If you want to see this, it's Gogglebox, in the bingo right now on the Radio 1 website. The water may be cold at first when you uh, when it hits you, so please do not swear we had a terrible incident with Hodor once. Mm. Mm. <laughs> OK. <laughs> okay. As much water as you can in your mouths there, please. And firstly, we're going over to PM on BBC Radio 4. And Rebecca, Rebecca Crawford, the reporter, is in Indonesia. Obviously, it's radio, so you can't see it. But listen to how beautifully Rebecca describes the largest bird in the world, or one of them. You, you can really imagine it. Annette Piper, the managing director of this privately run sanctuary, takes me to see their cassowaries, the third largest bird on the planet. It has a striking blue skin on its neck and a horny helmet. Oh, going to blow? <laughs> OK. And a horny helmet. Mm, yeah. You really imagine it, can't you? We're good. Water, please. Lots more. <laughs> <laughs> Over on BBC Three Counties Radio, Nick Coffer is chatting to opera singer Lydia Haynes. She hasn't got the range. <laughs> now it obviously can be a, a nerve-wracking experience having live guests in the studio and sometimes the words just come out all wrong you've got like a, a really sort of luxuriant velvet voice so you must have known as you were growing up that that you had a really good tool in your throat i'm <laughs> 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 trying to speak then <laughs> <laughs> that you had a really good tool in your throat <laughs> <laughs> Lucky girl. <laughs> <Bill. laughs> it's not, it's just what you think. It, it's, it's in your head, it's in your head. It's all in your head. Okay, watch please. Next, we're going to Gogglebox on Channel 4, mm. where we get an insight into people's everyday conversations while they're at home behind closed doors. Listen to what Aaron, Andrew and Caroline get up to. I'm not sure that they showed this bit on TV. I really appreciate it. They you are so... absolutely fantastic. Yeah, you were really thoughtful. I was. And really patient. I was. And really kind. I was. Yeah, you really pulled out the stops. I was well impressed. I did. Yeah. yeah. 30 years yeah. I've had of you giving me pearls of wisdom. <laughs> and now you've actually given me a real pearl necklace. <laughs> It's so good! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, Caroline. I didn't see that one before. No, I, I, I don't <laughs> think they showed that bit. <laughs> oh, that was a wet one. There you are. More water, please. Woo. Chris and Stephen, in and a bingo. It's quite refreshing, isn't it, after a while? Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Water. Mm. Mm. Not being, well, not being on the beach, really, isn't yeah. it? Mm. This could be how you do goggle box in future. Do you know what I mean? Oh, keep God. keep the water yeah. in your mouth, and when you find something funny, <laughs> that's an idea. Don't give my ideas. Yeah, no, don't steal your. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Not, yeah no. Channel okay. Four can't have that one. Let's have lots of water, please, for this next one. You'll like this one, Chris. Over to BBC Six Music now. Now, the presenters on that station they get so excited about new bands and new artists. Listen to what happens to Sean Keaveney when he presses play on this brand new track. It was on release last Friday. Uh, Ollie Baston, of course, aka singer-songwriter, who uh, is boxed in, essentially. And we're going to play this track from it, the album of the day, which you already know. Jizzed. <laughs> 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 that was brilliant. I've got a good aim. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a, that trap is called Gist. Uh, oh, by, by Boxed In. Gist. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Thanks, Sean. Oh, wow. <laughs> that, that took you by surprise, that one, Chris. Oh, dear. It did, the innuendo did, and then you got the water up my nose. It's like I've dived into a swimming pool. It's like mascara gone. Mm. Mm. Oh, it's fine, darling. <laughs> water, please. Next, it's Lorraine Kelly on ITV. And here, Lorraine gets an unexpected surprise from Levi Roots off of Reggae Reggae's <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that absolutely wonderful? It's quite big. I don't even know if my big gob will get round up, but I'll try my best. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> the rain there was sampling Levi Root's massive Calypso chicken burgers. Oh, I say, I sound tasty. Okay, okay more water, please. Uh, Calypso chicken burgers. Mm. Who's back? Who's back? Okay. Now we're going back to BBC Radio 4. And here's Colin Jagger, director of music at Portsmouth University. Now, Chris and Stephen, obviously I know you're big fans of watching TV. Do you like music as well? Mm. Okay. Mm. See if this is the, uh, mm. is the kind of thing that you would enjoy, this, this kind of music. And I thought, that can't be what Sullivan wrote. And sure enough, when I looked in the autograph score in the Royal College of Music Library, uh, it wasn't in E-flat, it was in D major. And then the keys work perfectly, because he sets you up for D and he gives you D. <laughs> 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 you do what? Because <laughs> he sets you up for D and he gives you D. Mm -hmm. don't, don't, it. It, don't explain it. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. Uh, Colin talking about key changes in music there on BBC Radio 4. He sets you up for D and he gives you D. OK. Um, <laughs> if you know, you know. Water, yeah. water please. Over my head. Mm -hmm. Down with the D. Even more Radio 4. <laughs> 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 Just fine, let's move on, let's move on. I'm spitting over myself. What? You know. <laughs> More Radio 4 now, and it's Gardener's Question Time. Put the water in your mouths, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All sorts of people ask questions on this show. Gardeners from all over the UK. Mm -hmm. yeah. But what are the chances of having this name and coming from this place? London N1P1RU. Details of all of those, of course, on the Gardener's Question Time pages of the Radio 4 website. Another question, please. Good afternoon. I'm Dick Soper from Great Saxon. <laughs> 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 what a great name. Uh, <laughs> and listen where he's from. Good afternoon. I'm Dick Soper from Great Sexham. <laughs> no way. Oh, what a dude. Oh, he's made that you up. Could Dick. Like that, could you? He's the best. Mm -hmm. uh. That's going to be my new favourite clip. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm going to go over to, uh, over to Bake Off now. Oh. oh. Last week's Bake Off. That's full of them. I uh, hope Val doesn't mind me saying this, uh, but she was one of the more mature bakers in the competition. Obviously, she left last week. Oh. But it's because of her years of experience that she's able to achieve things like this with such confidence in the Bake Off tent. While the rest of the bakers race to start their first prove... It's a little bit wetter than I usually make it, but it's better to be wetter than it is to be dry. Oh, Val. <laughs> OK. Mm. <laughs> Good afternoon. I'm Dick Soper from Great Sexham. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. And one more. Right, let's do it. Mm. Over to Jeremy Vine's show on Radio 2. Well, they, just, they do discuss a whole range of subjects. What is his name? Sarah. <laughs> Sarah. Sarah, yes. Yeah. What's going on? What's his name? Sarah. Hmm. OK. Mm. More water, please. Mm. There's a reason for it, though. <laughs> well, now I'm trying to work out if I should ask the reason or ask about the earring. No, no, it's actually quite simple. The, the school um, incubated some eggs and they named all the chicks after some teachers. So we have Sarah, Mary and Adam, and Mary and Adam are, are turned out to be girls and Sarah turned out to be a cock. <laughs> 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 and that was... Woo! Chris and oh. Stephen from Gogglebox oh. in your end of bingo, and what a game it was. Thanks very Good. much, boys. We're well, very wet now. That's, well, this new book, We Need to Talk, is going to be my toilet reading of choice. <laughs> <laughs>